Evening ladies and gents, just uh, a quick video as promised for how to build your own APK, Kodi APK with your wizard preloaded in it. Uh, so no more typing your, your file source uh, to your wizard URL. A couple of points before I do the video. You know, I'd just like to say this isn't my work, not claiming responsibility for it. Something I worked out how to do. I know other people have done the same, including people in our group. Uh, so again, like I say, not my work. I uh, just wanted to share it with you guys. Uh, secondly, if you install the Kodi APK this way, rather than from an a, a official source, okay, the Play Store, uh, it won't update itself. So if they release a new version, you'll have to release a new version. This won't update itself. Uh, right. So I've already downloaded the files. I will provide them on the wall for you. Um, as you can see, I have an APK zip. Uh, I will extract the APK, APK zip. Uh, I'm just going to go extract here. It's in my downloads folder. You can put it anywhere. Um, downloads might be easier for this tutorial because there's a little bit of command line uh, and, and the paths will be very, very similar. You can put it wherever you want, um, but just be conscious you're going to have to type the path to it. If you know DOS, not a problem. If you don't, you can, you can work it out. Google will help. Uh, right, so I'll extract the files here. Uh, create an APK folder. I've already done a little bit of legwork before the video because I didn't want it to take up too much of your time. Uh, there are various images that you need to create for your APK, uh, various different sizes, icons. Um, like I said, I've already created mine, I've put them in the folders. I've created an image with a list of the, the file sizes and the folders I need to create for you. Uh, in the APK folder, so I'll show you that when it's finished extracting. Um, but I've already done this side of it, so it won't be in the video. So I'll just wait for this to finish. Okay, right, so now we have our APK folder double click on that inside you'll see you have various tools and a folder right at the top uh, this is my decompiled APK I've left it decompiled for you to save you having to do that it's not particularly difficult but if it's a step you don't have to do it's a step you don't have to do um, we'll go into this folder after we've had a look at the images so you'll see here the file sizes and the folders within the APK folder they need to go to um, the files need to be called ic underscore launcher dot png um, and you'll be good to go. Uh, I'll show you what I mean now. So if we go into my APK folder, I have a res folder which was one of the ones listed and inside we have these which all have various different sized icons inside them. Uh, that folder is also replicated in build APK res. So same set of folders, same set of images. So you'll need to create those. Um, so right now we'll go back to the top level of my folder. And the first thing we'll do is in res, values, there's a file called strings.xml. So we'll right click, edit with notepad. And you'll see here the string name, app name. Uh, for this it's called Kodi Help. This will be what your application's called. So call it what you, what you want yours to be called. Um, and that's what it will appear like on the screen. So save your file and close notepad. Uh, next thing we need to do is load the the wizard into our Kodi files. Uh, the Kodi files are stored under assets and should be a very familiar folder structure to you now. Uh, add-ons, media, system user data. So under add-ons, as we well know, is where all our add-ons go. And I don't have one in here currently, so I'm going to grab one. I'm going to take my file, I'm going to go back to my APK folder and drop it into assets and add-ons. So now I have plugin program DANS, that needs to be your, your non-zipped version of your wizard. So essentially, now from files and folders, that's all you need to do. So very basics, uh, there could be a lot more advanced stuff maybe you can do. I'm not an Android developer, so I, I, I don't really know. But for me, this is all I've needed to do, and it's worked every time. So 
Now we need to build our APK, and if you remember I said a little bit that's got to be done in DOS. So if I go to my APK folder, I've created the command in a text file for you. So if you double click on that, you'll see the command that needs to be typed at a command line. So to get to the command line, we start and on Windows 10 you can type CMD and it will find it for you. On Windows 7 you type run or you type it in the search box, it will do the same thing, it will find the app. So just open the command line and you'll see my path is currently C users Dan Maholland. Uh, this path could well be C Windows System 32, it could be uh, desktop, it could be any anywhere on your machine, it depends on kind of where you are at the time when you open the, the, the command prompt. What I'll do is I'll show you from, from where where I am or if you're in Windows System 32, uh, the command you'll need to type to get back to, uh, in, in my case, the downloads APK folder. So you type CD, which is change directory, space, and then a backslash, which will take you all the way back to the root of C. So you can then type in your path. So mine is Dan Holland slash downloads slash APK enter and as you can see I'm now in the APK folder we type DIR and it will show us a list of the files just to make sure you're in the right folder you can see your your APK folder in there um, then we just need to type the, the the command so exactly as it is in the text files you can see APK tool B for build and then the name of your folder that we've been editing Mine is Cody help underscore 16.1 dash O and it's an O not a zero guys. So it, then the next bit is the name of our APK, which is how it's appear once it's compiled. So it's Cody help underscore 16.1 and you have to put the dot APK after it. So hit enter and if you don't make a typo, it'll work. I missed out the K in tool. So that will take 30 seconds to a minute to run and then I'll show you what to do next. Okay, and it's finished. So it always says for me skipping DIR screenshots. Uh, it hasn't affected anything I've done, so I'll just ignore it. To get out of this window, you just type exit. You can close the text file, don't need it anymore. And you can see we've now got a Kodi Help APK file. Uh, that APK won't install currently, so what we need to do is sign it, digitally sign it. So uh, we need to run Easy APK Disassembler, so we double click here and all, as we're all we're doing is signing it we want option number four so you press four and enter and then ask for the name of your APK so in this case it's Cody help underscore 16.1 and don't forget the dot APK at the end hit enter and it will start its thing and you see straight away in the background it, it's already created a file it's not finished yet but it's, it's there so we just wait for this to finish Okay, now press any key to continue, and then 9 to exit. Um, you now have two APKs, the top one is unsigned, slightly smaller as you can see, and the bottom one which is our signed one. Uh, this will now install. Uh, I'd like to be able to show you, but my BlueStacks isn't currently working, I haven't had time to fix it, so um, I have tested it on my, on my Android box, on my Android TV and my phone, uh, and it does install. Um, that's it guys so yeah uh, if you have any questions you know where the wall is be feel, feel free to post I'll answer as many of them as I can um, but good luck